evening, good evening. Welcome to this global worship church across America and around the world. I see people are tuning in from different nations, and I'm just so thrilled that you've come to worship with us again. Some of you, it's, it's after midnight and early in the morning. Some of you, it's well into the next, the next day. And we welcome all of you. It is just a joy to have you with us. And the most special guest is, once again, the Holy Spirit. And we pray that he just lifts us into the Father's presence tonight. So welcome to this place. is glorified tonight. You are welcome to an hour with Jesus. And do you realize what a special grace we have been under to do this every week for over two years now? That awful thing called the pandemic actually was in many ways a blessing in disguise. And although I hated those two years, I loved what God was doing through this program how many he was touching and still is. We get reports every week from people who have been touched, sometimes folks just finding it through other friends. By the way, if you're not uh, sharing this program, please do. If you haven't subscribed, that's free. It doesn't cost a dime. Just click on subscription and then that little bell, and that will alert you every time one of our programs is coming on or every time we might post a new video of some sort outside of An Hour with Jesus. So good to have you here. I don't know where you live, but this is the windiest springtime I have ever felt in my 13 years now in Dallas, Texas. 
uh, every day, and it's whipping around tonight, about 30 mile an hour gusts right now, and uh, supposed to be even more so later. I don't know what's going on. Maybe God is just blowing everything out of our land that doesn't belong. Wouldn't that be a nice thought? Uh, <laughs> I don't know why it's happening, but you know, the weather will get crazy in the last days, and we all think that we're probably in those last days. So whether we live or we die, we are the Lord's. Praise God. Hey, I want to remind you, if you're a partner to our ministry, uh, tomorrow night at 7 o'clock Central Time here in the U.S., we will have our quarterly face-to-face -face Zoom meeting where you can talk to me and I can talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. We always have 30 or 40 folks that join us. And if you've never joined us, I hope you will. You do need to be a glory partner to do that. You can actually become a glory partner tonight and join us tomorrow night. It's that simple. Go to our website, newglory.org, and uh, that's right up here in the corner someplace, right where my finger is about there, I think. Uh, and you can uh, join our partnership program, or if you just want to make a donation, a one-time gift, you can do that too. We're here because your gifts have sustained us. That is the long and short of it. God's mercy and grace has been on this program, and your generosity has kept us going, and we are so appreciative of that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, all of you who have given. And those of you who can't give, that's just fine. We're glad you're here. We hope that you receive a great blessing from the presence of the Lord. That's all my ministry has ever wanted to be about is his presence. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, most of you know this song that's been popular the last few years, The Goodness of God. Let's sing it together tonight. I love you, Lord, for your mercies never fails me. All of my days I've been held in your hand from the moment that I wake. the goodness of God. So all my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am the goodness 
will see of the goodness of God. just hard not to think about his faithfulness as you sing a song like that. For your mercies never failed me. <laughs> All of my life I've been held in your hand. From the moment that I wake up till I lay my head down at night, I will sing. I will sing of the goodness of God. All my life you've been faithful during those high times and during those low times. You have remained consistently faithful, Lord. And I thank you for that. And all my life you've been so, so good. With my last breath, while I'm able, I will sing of the goodness of God. Praise the Lord. I hope you are one who has an attitude of gratitude when you wake up in the morning and throughout your day, understanding that is His mercy that helps you through every day. Praise God. What would we do without the mercies of God? Praise the Lord. Well, we've entered into his gates already tonight with thanksgiving. And we've entered into his courts with praise. To the believer, there's a place beyond that. It was typified in the way the temple was built. The outer courts, where all the noise and praise and all that went on inner courts where we're going now to where worship took place no longer talking about all the stuff God has done but now we focus on who he is and we worship and adore him for his beauty for his great love for his majesty there's just no one like Jehovah you and I could spend the rest of our days and all of eternity and not give him all the glory that is due his name. So let's just turn our eyes toward him now. Focus on the Holy Spirit. Come breathe upon me, breath of God. Breathe upon me, Spirit of the Lord. As I lift my hands in surrender to your name, most high, yielding to 
see everyone who's tuned in. You know their need. You know the desires of their hearts. And you're the provider. Provider of healing. Provider of our physical needs, financial needs, or spiritual needs, our emotional and mental needs. Lift up that one who's discouraged tonight and just ready to give up. As we adore your holy name, him right now. Oh, I adore your name, Lord Jesus. I place you as first and foremost in my heart again right now. now right where you are 
He may want to deliver a word to you tonight if you're just opening your spiritual ears and listening to the heart of the Father. on the program or not. I wrote it many years ago, never recorded it, just along the same thing. It's the glory of the Lord that makes the difference. It's the presence the 
Sweetie, would you turn my fan on over here for me? I neglected to do that tonight. A little warm on this side of the lights. Are you having a good time with the Lord? I hope so. <laughs> I truly hope so. I am always amazed at how I start a song and then he just goes from there and carries it places that I didn't see it being carried. That's that's what's really cool about the Holy Spirit. Yeah, just that speed there. Thank you, sweets. That is Miss Liz behind the cameras and behind the operation of my fan over here blowing a little bit of cool air on me as it's warm tonight in this studio. <laughs>
me know you the cross of Christ. I hope you had a wonderful Easter season. And um, again, that wonderful statement, if Christ is risen, then nothing else matters. If Christ is not risen, then nothing else matters. <laughs> oh, but we celebrate an empty tomb, don't we, friends? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the power of God that resurrected Christ. Hmm, man. I'm so glad that the story didn't end at the cross. That is only the beginning for the believer. Praise the Lord.
Sweet presence, huh? Sweet presence. Thank you, Lord, for sweet presence. Looking at, I um, want to tell you a little story tonight. You know I'm real fond of stories. And I know I've used this verse before. I could have used, I could have gone a couple different ways with this story tonight. I was thinking of Matthew 7 about not judging, 
And I'm also thinking of Hebrews 12. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely and let us run with endurance. Let us run with endurance. Let us run with endurance. Let us run with patience. Let us run with endurance. The race that is set before us. Looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, despising the shame, and because of all that, today he is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. I guess if I gave the story uh, a title, it would be Keep On Walking. I love that phrase, just keep on walking. I know the Imperial music, the Imperial's uh, quartet sang that so many years ago. Keep on walking. You don't know how far you've come. Keep on walking. For all you know, it might be done. And the Father might be standing up right now for you to hear the call and end it all. So keep on walking. I haven't even thought of those words in a long, long time. But the story goes like this. There was a man who had a son. He lived out in the country on a ranch and he had one horse. He's a very poor man. Just the son was able to work the ranch for him. The man was very elderly. The people in the village said, sell the horse. He's worth a lot of money. At least you can live comfortably in your old age. The man didn't listen to them. He just kept doing what he was doing day after day. One morning he woke up and sure enough the horse was gone. Went out to the stable. There was nothing there. Word got around to the village. The people came out to him and criticized him and said, you're cursed. The only thing that you had worth anything. And we told you to sell it, but you didn't listen to us. And now there's a curse on you. The man says, you don't know. All we know is the horse is gone. And that's all we know. We don't know if I'm blessed or cursed. And they shook their heads and and anger and disbelief and walked away. It was about a week later that the horse returned and he brought a dozen horses with him. And the people of the village came out and said, wow, you are so blessed for you had one horse. Now you have 13 horses and you are much more prosperous than you were before. Man said, you don't know. All I know is the horse was gone. He came back and now he's brought other horses with him. And I'll just continue to keep my eyes on God. People left. Next couple of days, his son was trying to break the wild horses in. One of the horses that he was working on threw him incredible distance. He landed and broke both of his legs people of the village heard about this of course bad news travels fast they came out with their criticism and judgment saying you fool the only person you had that could work your ranch has now become disabled the man said you don't know life goes on all we know is he broke his legs we'll see what the father has People left, shook their head in disbelief and shame. What a foolish man. Short time later, war broke out in their country. And every able young man was called and forced into service where he would most likely die on the front lines of battle. And what happened when they came to this man's house? The young man had two broken legs and could not go to war. And the people rejoiced when they heard about it. Oh, your son is so blessed. He did not have to go to war and give his life. You know what the man said. 
basically this, where, whether we live or we die, we are the Lord's. Don't judge anything that happens you don't know, but just keep walking. Keep on walking. For whether we live or we die, we are the Lord's. I think that's an incredible story because you can't help but form these judgments when you see these things happen. Well, if they'd only done this, or why did they do that instead of this? If they'd only used wisdom and done this. But yet, the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. That's you and me, if we will listen to the voice of the Lord. I hope that encourages you today. Listen, if we commit our way to the Lord, trust in the Lord, I read this last week, trust in the Lord with all your heart. And don't lean to your own understanding. As soon as you focus in on, well, this is what I think the world's wisdom should be, that I should do this, that I should invest in this corporation or this stock, instead of using God's wisdom, you're in trouble. But if you use the wisdom of the Lord, and if you don't know what that is, ask him for it. The man in the story didn't feel led to sell his horse. He kept it. The horse brought back many horses. Who knows the ways of the Lord? Praise God. Amen. Well, our time is just about gone. Um, this little song came to mind tonight. Always remember Jesus, Jesus. Always remember Jesus, Jesus. keep him on your mind don't be afraid of the terror of the night or of the arrows that fly in the day God has given angels charge over you Always keep him on your be afraid of the terror by night or of the arrows that fly in the day. 
God's given his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. So just keep walking and always remember Jesus. Hey, our website again is newglory.org. Stop by there and find out more. I'm going to be in Michigan, not this weekend, but next weekend. So if you're anywhere in that region, we'd love to have you drive over or fly in and be a part of a Saturday. I believe it's Saturday evening concert. All right? Praise God. Newglory.org is the website. Thank you so much for your support of our ministry. And until Liz and I see you here, there, or in the air, bye-bye for now.